What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 22. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button, comes above. And in this one, we are beginning the Stanley Cup Finals. We made it back here after going without Stanley, uh, Stanley Cup or Stanley Cup Finals since year two. We won the Cup in year one, we won the Cup in year two. And now in year five, we're finally back in the Stanley Cup Finals, hoping we can do it again. So after going up 5 nothing after the first period, right now the Washington Capitals are sitting on a 6-2 to two lead over the Nashville Predators here at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tennessee, man. We're going to be simulating on ahead to our first shift in this one. There's 6 minutes and 54 seconds to go in the second period, and we got a 4-goal lead. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is insane. Absolutely insane cup finals so far. Here we go. Pasta's got that one just outside the Nashville zone. He's bringing it in. No good because Roman Yossi, the captain of the Nashville Predators, is going to get it up to Ellie Tolvanen, who's bringing it into the Washington zone. I thought he took it away from him, but he was able to hold on to that one. Where are we going, baby? No, 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 no. Here we go. Pasta. I feel like it's going to be ridiculously hard to score right now. Here we go. Cutting into the middle. Big shot. Easy save for Mark andre Fleury. Oh my goodness. All right, Ellie Tolvanen's just going to dump that one deep into the Washington zone, and Philip Tomasino is going to pick that one up. kuzi has got it in his own zone. Pasta, he's going to circle back. All right, what do we got, baby? Getting it out to D to the Mac. D to the Mac, going a little slow. Going just a little bit slow right now. So we are going to dump that one deep, hopefully. Nope, doesn't dump and chase at all. Pasta, as soon as they get into that corner, man, it's like, that's another thing. We got that wish list video out. It's like, that's another thing, man. You got to get those, like, dump and chase physics and stuff. Figure it out. Figure it, like, you got to teach the AI what frickin' dump and chase is. Like, I mean, come on. It only happens 78 times in every NHL game for the last 30 years. <laughs> We're going to be simulating on ahead. We got a sim goal. What's up? Oh, my God. Jared McCann puts it past Mark andre Fleury. And we got a five-goal lead. It is seven to 7-2 for the Washington Capitals. Tomasino with a nice shot on Arthur Silovs. And he's going to cover that one up and stop it, baby. I actually didn't really read the whole uh, the whole list there. I just noticed uh, D-Mac's name, and here comes Pasta. Oh, he's all alone. I'll just coast. Here we go. Oh, my God. Four goals in the game. <laughs> Dude, David Pasternak is a four-goal night. Oh, my God. That's insane, dude. That is insanity. Oh, man. We got a six-goal lead. I'm pretty sure, don't we? Right? Yeah. Oh my. We're in we're still in the second period. We have a six goal lead. That is kind of bonkers. <laughs> Philip Tomasino getting that one. Into Ellie Tolvin and yet again trying to get it deep in the zone. Back to Tomasino. Pokes it off him. D to the Mac. Well done, baby. You know what, Pasta? Let's go for five. Let's go for five. You get it to me, I'm gonna look for you. <laughs> I know I'm a sniper, and I know I'm leading the NHL in goals right now, but you know what? We're looking for pasta tonight. Let's play for pasta, baby. Here we go. Back to the point. Sandheim in front. Takuzi. That one was a low one. Urgh, Rasmus Kupari, get off this thing. Oh, I took it back, and then I actually kind of shot it at the back of him. What do we got? Oh, I was going to try and... Sh uh, I was just about to try and pass that one. We're in the final 10 seconds. I don't really know why. <laughs> don't really know why I got off the ice. But Arthur Silovs is now going to cover that puck up in the final three seconds of the period. And look at this. D-Max still... He leads in hits, points, goals. Man. Penalty minutes. It's like every category, d -Mac is number one. So I think we know who the Conn Smythe Trophy winner will be if we were to win the cup. Probably Pasta. <laughs> All right, let's keep this going in the third. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to, you know what, just coast to the end here in game one because this is a slaughter fest, man. Kuzi with a great face-off win. We're just going to rock that one back to Ivan Provorov. Ivan the Terrible gets it back to Kuzi before Kuzi... Gets rid of that one. Kasperi Kapanen down the ice. Oh, shoots it just wide on Arthur Silovs. And here comes Shea Theodore. Shea Theodore's got to turn back. Get it over to Provi. Provi up to D-Mac. D-Mac coming through the neutral zone. Up that left side. Where are we going? Whip it around the net. 
Oh, buddy didn't go for it. Guzzi, I'm back out in front. Oop, knocked that one away, and it's behind the net. Villa Heinola. Whoop! Lay down, buddy. Oh, Pasta just couldn't get there. But then Guzzi with a steal. What a steal. <gasps> Pasta! Ah, uh, he's like behind, beside, behind, beside the net. And D Mac with a wide open goal. Pasta with the assist. Guzzi with another one. And that is how many? 17? Oh my god, D to the Mac with his 17th goal of the playoffs. 75% of players in the National Hockey League don't get that over a full season. And we got it in less than 20 games. <laughs> oh man, that is bananas. So here we go, Pasta. Back to Shea. Shea, that one's wide. Nice shot. Ott loses that one. What do we got, baby? Matty Duchesne, he's going to pick that one up. He is still playing with the Nashville Predators. This is year five, so he's getting up there. But here comes Matty Duchesne. Nice shot. Nice stop by Arthur Silovs. Shea, Shea, Theodore gets that one up to the Mac attack. And here we go into the Ozone. Nice shot. Easy stop for Marc-Andre Fleury. But the most important part of that whole thing was getting the puck drop in the offensive zone. Gino Kuznetsov wins the faceoff right out in front. Ooh, tried to get that hip movement. Got it back. D to the Mac. Oh, guess what, buddy? Wa-boom! There he is! David Pasternak with his fifth of the night, assisted by Kuzi and D-Mac. And it is a 10-2 game. That is gross disgusting. Look at this. Right across to the other side of the net. It does not get any better than that. My God, this game is such a runaway. <laughs> Oh, let's get a thumbnail. It is better for your voice, though. So here we go. At Bridgestone Arena, 10-2 for the Washington Capitals. And Ellie Tolvin and gets it to Philip Tomasino. Knocks that one back to Roman Yossi. It's wide open in front. And Ellie Tolvin and picks up his second of the night to get the Smashville Predators back in this game and only down by seven in the third. <laughs> oh, man. Well... I was, you know, the only reason why I'm disappointed about them scoring right now is Archer Silovs. Silovs has had such an unbelievable playoffs that I'm like, I feel bad. I'm like, I don't like this. I don't, I don't like the fact that he's given up three now. We should have played better for him, you know? Here we go. Koozie Woozy wins that face off yet again. Let's turn back. Back to the other point guy. There we go. Alexiak up to Koozie. Koozie back to the Mac attack. We're just going to keep going. Oh, what's up? Power move. No, couldn't get it across to Kuznetsov, and it's behind the net, and nobody's going for it. Cody Glass with Matt Duchesne gets it across, and Lujo makes an unbelievable defensive play. d -Max got it. Coming into the O-zone. We've already got 10. I'm sure they're not going to allow us to get any more. Going around the net. Ville Hainola. Boom! <laughs> Lay down, Ville. Oh, man. Here comes Matty the Douche. Matty the Douche gets it across to Ott. Nice stop by Archer Silovs. Lose this thing, buddy. Here's Pasta. He board plays himself, and it's kind of fine. Nice. Kicks it up to me. D to the mat. Oh, Alexiak stopped moving. I, I totally didn't realize that's who it was. And it's like, yeah, he's a defender, so he's not gonna, He's only going to go forward, like, so much. And then he's just going to stop. Dante Fabro can't get anything done with that. Or, no, that's Robbie Fabry? Or is it Dante Fabro? Oh, Brayden Jaeger just got murdered. And now he doesn't even have a stick. All right, here we go. Around behind be our own net. Gets that one up to David Pasternak. I got a little too yelly in this one. Too many goals happened. You know what I mean? Oh, what just happened? Okay, we're going on the power play. It looked the way Pasa... That's an elbow? <laughs> Dude, Luke Cunning with an elbow. Brutal. El Terrible. All right, but it was like the way he was laying down on the ice. I was like, oh, did Pasta just get hurt in a five-goal game? He was just in too good a position. Here we go. D to the Mac. Ah, oh, you stopped up the wrong goddamn way, and I know why. <laughs> it's like, you did that because we're up by seven in the final minute and a half of the game. Here we go. Luke Cunning, fresh out the box. Just like Nazem Kadri going for a goal immediately after taking a penalty. We're just going to dump that one down the ice. Final minute of this game, and we're going to be getting off the ice pretty gosh darn soon. Like, I don't, I don't think we're going to be on there for the whole thing. Luke Cunning, nice chance. No dice. D to the Mac. Dumper again, baby. We've been on the ice more than 40 seconds. Let's just get off. Let's simulate to the end. Let's get this one over with this game. Yeah, looking at my timer, this game has run quite long. <laughs> like, three or four minutes longer than the average game one of a video. And that's including the intro and everything. So this one ran a little long. It was because of all the goals, but it was an exciting game. We are up one nothing in the Stanley Cup Finals. I will see you guys on the ice at the halfway point of game two. 
So much like game one, we are jumping into this one with a lead. And look at this, 13-4-0 Archer Silovs, 2.60 goals against average with a 9.29 save percentage. We are up by one around the halfway point of this one. It is a 4-3 lead for the Washington Capitals. Could we go 2-0 in Nashville? in the Stanley Cup Finals to get a 2-0 series lead. That'd be unbelievable. It'd be so nuts. It's like, you might as well just give us the cup now. The series is over. Pasta, front of the net. Oh, he's trying to get it back real, real bad, and he's having a lot of trouble with it. Cody Glass going to dump that one down the ice. We're on the power play for just over a minute. Oh, my God, they're all afraid of behind the net. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Pasta. Oh, you got such a good shot. Why do you got to throw it away by doing stupid ninja deeks for no reason? Braden Yeager. Now has it going down the ice for Smashville. 50 seconds to go on the power play. What are we doing here? <laughs> Roman Yost to Cody Glass. Nice stop by Archer Silovs. I told uh, he was about to, and he was gonna. He was gonna play that puck. Gosh darn. We're not going to be here next year. Yeah, this is the contract year. I already did the poll and everything. It was a narrow victory for go to the team that wins the draft lottery. We are just so desperately trying to replicate the magic we got with Jerry Blackburn in NHL 21. Oh, God, it was a better time. We even followed him around the league. It was like, it was so fun. You know what I mean? We followed him. Uh, he got drafted to the Vegas Golden Knights. He was uh, an 80, what was he? 82 overall, medium elite, power forward. And we got him to like 68 goals one year or something. And then he left and went to the Islanders. So the next year, we followed him to the Islanders where he had signed like a seven-year deal. And then we basically played out the rest of our career with the Islanders. I don't think we actually finished with the Islanders, but we played there for... We might have finished with the Islanders. I'll have to go back and look at that. It was a lot of fun. It was a fun series. We were a playmaker... This year we're a sniper. Next year we'll have to find something else that we want to do. Uh, maybe a power forward or something. I don't know. Could be fun. We could be one of those, just screen the goalie, throw some hits, just be a nuisance kind of guys. You know what I mean? Could be fun. I don't know. We still got a couple of months to get there. Oh, my goodness. Robbie Fabry can't hold on to that one. And Dante Fabro, that's going to get confusing real fast. Here we go. Pasta. Get rid of her, buddy. Nice feed up to the Mac attack. The uh, eternal offside warning going on. Braden Yager, nah, I just couldn't get the angle right to throw that hit on him. We're getting off the ice, and then sure as shit, that's going to kill the second period. I just know it. Here we go. Kuzi, get that one out of your own zone as we get off the ice. Yeah, as if they have Fabro and Fabry. <laughs> like I said, like that is going to get so confusing after a while. But second period over, we still got the lead 4-3. to three, So let's just keep that going in the third. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to hold off the Smashville Predators here at Bridgestone Arena and instead of split the series, take both games on the road, on the road to a Stanley Cup. It would be D to the max, third career cup. Here we go. D-Mac got her back to the point. Pro V, right in front. Pasta, D-Mac. Oh, the goalie was off the freaking post and everything. He had sold so bad. Uh, what do we got? They're back to Kuzi. Oh, that was a funky little shot, and Flurry was there to make the save. Cover it up. Stop the play. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. <laughs> Two, with that, right? If somebody gets hurt, there's got to be more, like, injury animations. There's got to be, like, more specific information kind of thing. Or, like, even, like, you know, have a thing that pops up that's like, oh, buddy went to the dressing room, will not return kind of thing. Instead of just having, like, Ray Ferraro say something about it, because it's like, yeah, everybody turns commentary off. Come on, man. <laughs> Who the hell has the commentary on in these games? I know I don't. Ever. All right, here we go. Pasta. Ooh, goes for a pass. Can't do Hey, whoa, whoa. Get off the ice, dude. It's like, I told you to get off the ice, and you just, like, stood there. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? All right, here we go. Let's simulate on ahead to our second shift of the third period. Uh, What do we do? Oh, we got a sim goal. What's up? Oh, Brandon, or Braden. Yeah, it's Braden, right? And here comes Gino Kuznetsov. Wow, did a couple of fancy uh, fancy little ninja moves there. Nothing too serious. <laughs> 18 goals, 11 assists, 29 points in the playoffs. So far this year, 4D to the Mac. My goodness. It is stupendous. I think, what did that say? It was Graves? This is going to be an icing, isn't it? No, because they're killing a penalty. Idiot. What are you doing? Here we go. Pro V. 
Gets it up to David Pasternak. Pasta in the zone. What's he going to do? Is he going to pass it? Is he going to hold it? What a little move. That was such a cool little in and out move that he did on the Nashville defender. Gets a nice shot on the Marc-Andre Fleury. Did that just say that Dante Fabro was beating me in plus minus? This is unacceptable. This is not okay. <laughs> I'm leading the NHL in like literally every category except plus minus. And Dante Fabro has it. What's going down, man? All right, seven minutes into the third period. Pasta with a nice feed up to the Mac attack, going through the neutral zone. Kind of waiting on you there, Koozie Woozy. Oh, I tried to throw it into the corner. Guess what, Fabro? Oh, you son of a... <laughs> oh, he tricked me. Oh, and he just got on the ice 19 seconds ago. Now he's stopping up. Where's he going? Round the net. Smart play. Braden Yeager in front of Luke Cunn, and that one's wide. Oh, you're done. Boom! Dante Fabro, get dead, buddy. <laughs> Boom! Rob, Robbie Fabry, why would you sign two guys? It's like uh, <laughs> Giovanni Smith and Jamel Smith, the two brothers. It's like when they signed them to the same team. It's like, so who gets G Smith on their jersey? Like, how the hell do you want to play this one? <laughs> Is one going to be GE and one's going to be GI? <laughs> like, <laughs> or, or are they both GI? I can't remember. <laughs> Shea Shea gets that one to the Mac attack. Back to Shea Shea over to Pasta. Coming into the zone. Nice feet. Can't really hold on to it. Oh, look. Oh, come on, man. They warped me into the net and I got stuck there. Damn, that's no fun. Gravesy. Let's pull it away. No, I didn't take it with me. Graves gets it back over to Luke Cunning. Luke Cunning coming out of his own zone. Come on. There we go. Careful with the sticks. Get out of town. What do we got? Fabry. Oh, no, 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 no. Back off. Hey, Nola. Somebody take it away from somebody. Here we go. We got a genuine board battle going on. Brayton Yeager with a nice shot. Nice stop. And Pasta gets tied up. Back in his own zone, but he's going to toss that one aside. Uh, Provi, which direction are you going right now, my friend? Provi does nothing with it. Shea Shea gets it out. We could stand to get off the ice anytime. Are we going to do a cut in? Power move? No. Loses it. Oh, and Kuzi almost gets the flipping shot away. And then Shea, Shea Theodore over the sneaky one. I'll give him that one, dude. Sneaky flipping shot. We're getting off the ice. Koozie woozy. Let's get her up the middle. We got 33 seconds left. Drop feed. No good. No good. Wow. Wow. Where are you going? <laughs> Here we go. A fantasy of I can't take it off of him. In the final 25 seconds, I think we may be going to OT, baby. Dawson Mercer. He's trying to find somebody open. No good, Koozie, but we are running out of time. We got to make this happen like now time. Here we go. D to the Mac. Stopping up. Back to the point. Lujo. Back to Alexiak. Nice shot. Nice stop. Where are we? We're all tied up. DMAC trying to get there first. Get around the net. Get around the net. Oh my god. In front and backhander. And he scores. D to the Mac with two seconds left in the game. Gets his second of the night. 19th of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Look at this. Two seconds left with a backhander. Both defenders chase behind the net. No one out front. Unbelievable, this game is over. <laughs> oh, Chatty Cathy, what are you saying, baby? Good job. That's going to help us get the win. Me either, coach. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, my God. I love this game so much. <laughs> it's so bad. I love it. Oh, got a little too excited on that one, man. Two and a half seconds to go. We're going to drop the puck, and it is going to be over. Here we go. No, just tie him up. Kill the clock. Tie him up. Another victory. We took both games, one and two, in Nashville. So with a 2 nothing lead, we're going home. So here we go in Washington, D.C., baby. Home of the Washington Capitals at Capital One Arena. The 14-4-0. Washington Capitals losing by one in the second period of this one. 8.50 to go in the second. We're on the ice to start this one deep in the Smashville zone on a power play for the next minute, 20 seconds. Oop, buddy roofs that one right into his own bench. I believe that was Dante Fabro. So you're, oh, and now we're off. Okay. <laughs> All right. So just like that, we're simulating on ahead to our next shift. We got a simulation goal and it, oh, damn it. It's Braden Yeager again. Year five in the Stanley Cup Finals. Mark andre Fleury still finding ways to get there, man. The ageless one. Just, he's like a fine wine. He just gets better every year. <laughs> so what do we got? We got Kapanen back there. 
Get off this thing. Oh, Duchesne right in front of the net. He just had a wide open chance because of poor defense and poor just calculations all around. And Pasternak fans on that one. Here comes Nino Nieder. Skater Eater can't get the shot off. And Ville Hainola is going to be able to clear that one out and down the ice with six and a half to go in the second period. I'm gone. Provi doesn't get it to me. Okay. Leave that one to Kuzi, I guess. Boom, just wire that one at the net. Okay, we're backing off, backing off on the other side. No, nope, not going to find me. Ooh, that one's blocked. Provi can't get the shot. Kuzi, Kuzi with a shot. That one's blocked as well through traffic. Get it back around behind the net. Uh, Where are we going? Back to the point. Nino Nieder, Skeeter Reader gets it to David Pasternak. It's loose in front of the net. Can we take it away? No. Luke Cunning, get off this thing. We got her back. We got her back. Here we go. Trying to get out front. Another saucer feed over to Niederreiter. Big shot. That one hits a body in front and just won't go. And where are we going now? You know what? We'll get it back to Provorov. Oh, he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it to Duchesne. That guy's got wheels. He's got wheels for days, baby. Provorov is kind of glitching out. I don't know if he's glitching out, if he means to be doing all these crazy side sideways skating thing that he's doing right now. Here goes Pasternak, loses it in his own zone again. And Pasta, another breakaway, just like the last game. What do you got, baby? Whoop! Oh, and he missed the net. <laughs> How do you miss that, dude? That went across to Niederreiter. That was bad. That was bad. Gino Kuznetsov gets the face-off win. All right, slow it down. I thought Shea was going to leave. Set a little bit of a pick for him there. What a feed. Oh, that one wasn't as grand of a chance as I thought it was going to be. And Robbie Fabry is going to be able to get that one out of his own zone. So we're going to get off the ice quickly before it turns into a bad line change in front of Cody Glass. Simulate, you bastard. <laughs> and that is going to kill the second period here in game three where we're now down two, uh, four to two the Smashville Predators. So put 20 minutes back on the clock. One final time, I'm hoping if we could get back into this game, it's what we gotta do. That's what our plan is, to get back into this game and take a damn lead, kill this one in regulation. We don't wanna end up like tying the game and then ending up in overtime. I've seen it happen before. We're down like two to one in a game. You tie it up at two, go to OT, goes to like quintuple overtime, and then you lose on a garbage goal. And it's like, that took me like two hours to play this goddamn game. <laughs> like, this is awful. Koozie with a nice play. Come on, get around your man. He's still got it. He's still got it. Koozie's doing Ninja Deeks for just no reason whatsoever. Provorov, here we go. Koozie, whoop, boom, shoots that one wide. Hey, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. There you go, baby. Two-minute power play for the Crapitals for interference. Gino Kuznetsov able to get the face-off win. We are in front of the net. Move, the little hip, move that hip a little tiny bit there. Get out of the way. It was almost good. D to the Mac. Where are we going, baby? Get it across to a point guy that's not there. That's good. That's always good. Oh, no. Colton Sissons takes that one away, and he's getting down the ice with it. We have 50 seconds to go on this power play. And now Benoit Olivier Gru is going to take it down the ice. And David Pasternak can't hold on to it as it enters back into the Washington zone. And Gru, the number thief, is forced to go back and get her back again. Who's he? Into the zone, nice feed, but I couldn't, uh, couldn't control it. Couldn't control it. D to the Mac. No, I'm going to hold it. Whoop. No, 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 no. Not yet. Oh, power move. Into the middle. And I even fumbled it and everything. Second of the night, and I'm pretty sure that means 21st of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Second of the night. This one comes on the power play, and all the red <laughs> glitchy fans are on their feet. Some of them are pixelated to rat shit they're all clapping none of them are synchronized it's fantastic the unstoppable force x factor giving me lots and lots of help on that one i'm not open enough he's not gonna hit me all right there we go lujo's got it into the zone now we're open baby are we gonna go for a trick i don't know here we go get her back to alexiak trying to get in front of that net a little bit here we go right in front lujo's not taking the damn shot at least he got it back he kept control of it so that's all i can say Gets that one up to Gino Kuznetsov, who is moving extra, extra, super duper slow. And that one was offside. And we're off the ice. All right. So what are we doing, baby? Simulating on ahead to our next shift. 13 13 to go in the third. 4 to 3 Nashville. We definitely want to get back in this game. I mean, at the same time, I wouldn't be horribly upset. I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I would never try to lose a game. But I wouldn't be upset if Nashville won this, because who the hell wants to sweep the finals? Like, that seems so lame. Like, it wasn't even a contest, right? 
So it's like, no, 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 no. We want to win it fair and square. We want, we want them to take us the distance, you know? We want the, we want the fight back. We want this to be hard. You know what I mean? Here comes Kuznetsov. Gets that one over to D to the Mac. D to the Mac just going to dump her deep down the ice. Cody Glass. Oh, and no one ever puts any pressure on him. God, it drives me nuts. For people who like realism in these games, it's like play franchise. <laughs> it's so much easier. Put it on all star difficulty, play some franchise mode. You're like, yeah, but I lose. It's like, yeah, it's, it happens. It does actually happen. <laughs> in fact, he's just an awful four checker, apparently. Here we go. D to the Mac, bringing that one through. Oh, like a big old lug. Nice blocker save. By the Washington netminder, Mark Andre Fleury. Where are we going, baby? Let's stop it up. Somebody get open. Somebody just get open. That's all you got to do. Pasta. That was a bad shot, and I got tied up with a... Wow, he played it. Got tied up with a couple of defensemen. Didn't end up being able to do anything. And here comes Kasperi Kapanen. Loses that one to Brayden Jaeger, and Alexia gets it back to Pasta, and we're gone. We're gone. We're going. Pasta in the zone. That was a bad feed because I was getting bumped. As he made the pass happen, we're going to get off the ice yet again while Kapanen loses it to Kuznetsov. And here we go. I, was, I, don't, know how that, I don't know how that one went. <laughs> I really don't know how that one went. All right, here we go. 21 goals, 12 assists, 33 points. The Mac attack. The pressure's on. We got to get back into this one. Kuzi with the faceoff victory. And he's right in front of the net. Oh, come on, move back to the left just a little bit. Ah, screw it, I'll get in the middle. No, it doesn't work. We stole it away. Pasta gets it back to the Mac Attack. Mac Attack gets it across to Guzzi. What a save by Marc-Andre Fleury to keep Nashville ahead 4-3. to three. Oh, a huge manatee. My goodness. Guzzi, I'm kind of down the ice, but I'm not really open. Here we go. We're in the zone. We're in the zone. Guzzi, nice feed. Get it around the net. Back to the point. Provi in front. Oh, it's loose. And it's in! And they're not going to count it! Oh, no. Let's take a look. Takes the shot. A little bit of a rebound in the defender. See, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It looked like he jumped at me. He pushed me. Luke Cunning pushed me into the goddamn net. What do we got? Oh, Chatty Cathy's talking to me. What a quick release off your stick! It counted! <laughs> oh, my God. The goal counted. We're tied at four. Oh, my. That's fantastic. All right. No. <laughs> no, we're still on the power play, and that's where the... <laughs> what a joke. And now it's a five on three. <laughs> Why don't we do that? All right, here we go. D to the Mac. We're not going to shoot this time. We're going to back off. Oh, low shot on net. It's deflected. Oh. Gets it to Ville Heinola. He's just going to do the smart thing and dump that down the ice. Round behind our own net. Shea Shea Theodore gets that one to the Mac attack. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We could do this. Whoop, cuts in front. Damn, I didn't have anyone to go to. Whoop, boom. Ovi with a one-timer that's no good. Let's look for somebody open. Ovi in front of that net. All right, D-Max still got it. Still got it. Still got it. Got to go around the net again. We got 20 seconds left. Somebody find a way to get open. Whips it around the net. I'm in front. I'm in front, screening the goaltendy. Whoop, boom. Oh, I blocked it. I didn't mean to do that. Here we go. Got her back. Uh, less than 10 seconds to go. Just wired at the net. There's a rebound. And the buddy doesn't poke check it off of him. Ovi's got it back. One, zero, no. <laughs> oh, and the Nashville Predators hold on to take game three. And we got a goddamn series, baby. Oh, I will see you guys on Sunday for hopefully the conclusion of the Stanley Cup Finals, where we can hopefully hoist the cup for a third time in our career. That's going to do it for me for this one. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for new videos coming all the frickin' time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.